Hundreds of sea turtles emerge from their shells after mamas nested on the beach, burying the eggs in the sand. The tiny turtles made a beeline for the ocean, but in recent weeks, many have been washed back. They're often dehydrated. Sometimes they're really lethargic. Um, sometimes they're also underweight at that point. Allie Bernstein yes. manages sea turtle rehab at the Marine Science Center in Ponce Inlet. And for the last few weeks, every nook and cranny in the place has been chock full of turtles, baby loggerheads and greens, 400 plus. You see, after birth, as they swam the 40 to 50 miles toward the Gulf Stream to live in the seaweed line, East-northeast winds kicked up powerful surf that for the turtles was a futile fight. They were thrown back to where they started, the beach, and could not immediately be returned to the water. They've been out there for several weeks potentially at this point, and they don't have that energy reserve. They've also been washing up in the surf and tossing around. At the turtle hospital, they get rest, fluids, nourishment, and once strong enough, they can be returned to the sea. Just this morning, the vast majority of washbacks here were driven by car to South Florida where they'll be taken by boat to the Gulf Stream. Down there, it's much closer to shore. It's actually less stressful on the turtles to go about four hours south and only about six to seven miles offshore than to coordinate a day-long boat trip to get out to the Gulf Stream from up in this area of Florida. The wind has died down some, but washback season runs through November, so no doubt we'll see more of those vulnerable creatures tossed to shore. Luckily, the Marine Science Center is ready to handle them. In Ponce Inlet, Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News.